friends, Running Kimono here. So today's video is a little bit different. I am kind of like unboxing and looking at some dryer sheets that are 38 years old. I'm not making this up. How did I acquire this? Well, I did not buy it in a store recently. Um, a friend of mine, she is in the process of uh, clearing out uh, some storage units for her grandmother who's very elderly and her grandmother back in the day really valued a dollar and uh, she just kept absolutely everything and anything. And I think these snuggle dryer sheets, because they were so costly when she bought them that, uh, you know, she just kept them. So I just to show you guys the box, you know, the directions and such. As you can see right here, there is a barcode. So I think in the 70s, they started putting these on. So I knew this was probably from... Sometime in the 80s, I kind of guessed for 224 as well. I asked my mom about that because I thought, like, why is it so expensive for dryer sheets? And my mom told me that basically in the 80s, a lot of products were a little bit more expensive than it is today because a box like this today at the Dollar General is like two bucks. So isn't that just absolutely crazy? But yeah, this this box has really gone through it. As you can see, the date is right about here. So it was stamped uh, in the 80s and I think that uh, it was a Lever Brothers product and now it's Hankler. Um, I think, you know, just this really went through a test of time, this box, and it has quite a few stories. And my friend's grandmother used it very, very sparingly because um, there's still quite a bit of these dryer sheets still in this box. So my friend saw me a couple weeks ago. She's like, hey, I have a gift for you. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is a really old uh, box and I absolutely love it. Comparing it to one that I picked up this week at Walgreens, as you can see, the little teddy bear on the cover, very identical. Um, this one is the Super Fresh, but they still, the packaging, even though it's from, you know, 30 year span, between the two it still looks very similar and even if you look at the side it has the instructions all that good information and it's very 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 similar um and i think uh with a coupon this week uh this would be like a dollar 99 or something like that at walgreens uh so it's certainly affordable for 70 of them. But yeah, it's just the same sort of instructions. This is how to use your dryer sheets. Uh, back in the day, they called this fabric softener for the dryer. That's how it's written. And then today they're just called dryer sheets. So a little bit more abbreviation. And just looking at the two side by side, I tell you that really old box, I thought it was haunted or something like that because it would not stop moving around. I had this crazy thought that I would bring this to Walgreens this week and try and get the cashier to scan it. Like if my man manager friend was working and say, hey, I found this in your store. But then I thought, oh, it's probably not going to be funny. And how do I explain that a friend of mine gave me the 38 year old dryer sheets as a joke? Because I do collect really old stuff. Um, on top of this whole couponing hobby, uh, I do collect like old soaps and stuff like that, which is bizarre. But I think it's really fascinating to look at the marketing from back in the day. Okay, guys, uh, so looking at the little snuggle box for all you math nerds, we're going to do an unboxing to show you exactly how large these sheets are. So the one from the 80s is 9 by 11 inches, which is a massive dryer sheet. I don't think I've ever seen a dryer sheet in my lifetime this large. Look how big that is. That could probably dry your entire bedding for like your family's sheets and towels and stuff. It's massive. That is a big one. I um, mean, again, this is just the top one, so it might have a little bit of debris and ickiness, but it's also been in a storage unit. Now let's compare it to the one I bought this week over at Walgreens, and my husband's unboxing this for me uh, just to show the difference between the two. And the newer ones are 6.4 inches times 9, so they are just a little bit smaller. Um, and I'm going to say the material on the older one, it's kind of a bit more sturdy. I know you guys can't touch it, um, but these um, newer ones are just a bit more flim flammy flimsy. <laughs> it's not even a word. But as you can see, there's uh, quite the difference um, in size. Like you get a lot more the one from the 80s than today's. And of course, the newer one is a little bit more fresh. But as you can see, they're both dryer sheets and they have that um, the fabric softener on the cloth. And the scent, uh, the one from the 80s, a very faint scent. Uh, the newer one, obviously, exceptionally strong. So if you guys like this comparison of old to new, I actually have a playlist uh, that I made a couple years back where I kind of review really old stuff to new stuff, packaging, marketing, and all that fun stuff. I will link it right here if you're interested. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.